Welcome back guys. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a double sided ninja star. So what you'll need are two sheets of paper. You can use either printing paper or construction paper, it really doesn't matter. Um, the first step is going to involve turning the uh, paper into a square piece. Now if you already have a square piece of paper you can simply skip the step. So for the first step what we're going to do is we're going to create a fold diagonally so that this end aligns with this side end right here. So once you do that, simply crease the paper along the uh, diagonal side. Now what you're going to notice is that there's a whole bunch of excess paper right over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply turn this and fold it over. Once you've folded it, you can either tear it by hand or even cut it with a ruler. Or you can uh, use a scissor to cut it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear it with the ruler and uh, try and make it as neat as possible. Since I'm using construction paper, it's going to be a little rigid at the side, but that's all right. <clears throat> and let me just get this little excess bits out of the way. So once you've done that, what you're going to want to do next is unfold the paper. So now you have a nice square piece of paper. So next, take the paper and fold it in half, like so, so that this end meets this end. Try and do this as neatly as possible so that your ninja star will end up looking as sharp as pos it possibly can. Once you do that, um, simply crease the edge at the back right there. Next what you want to do is you want to fold the paper in half once again. So this end meets this end. Once that's properly aligned, simply crease the back end like so. And there we go. What you want to do next is... Now this next step is really important. And um, you want to take this bottom end right here and you want to fold the pa paper in half so that this end meets this end. Next, you're going to take this end and you're going to fold it upward so that this edge right here meets the little crease you made right there. So, as soon as it meets the crease, simply fold it like so and you should have something that looks like this. What you want to do next <clears throat> is you want to grab this and you want to fold it downwards. So now, once you've gotten this far, you want to grab your second piece of paper. Now, I've already cut it down to a square piece. So, what you want to do next is simply repeat the steps as you did for the first one. So, fold it like so. Then, fold it again. Now, this is where I told you the step was important. So once you make this fold right here, you'll notice in the first one, we folded it from bottom up and then top down. This time, what we're going to do is, we're going to grab the top end of the paper and we're going to fold it downwards so that this tip meets the crease line that we made right here. So, let me show it to you. And this is different from what you did at first. If you look carefully, you'll notice that uh, in this sheet we went upwards and in this sheet we went downwards. So what you want to do next is you want to grab this end and fold it upwards so that it meets the crease line right here. And when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Flip it over so that you're on the side where the slit is not visible. So it's nice and smooth all the way. And what you should have is, you should have a sort of a, an S shape and a Z shape. Once you have this, what you want to do next is, you want to grab this end right here and fold it in the direction of the diagonal line. So, don't go ahead and fold this by accident. Grab this end and fold it towards the line. So that you get something like... this. 
<clears throat> yeah, so actually we have to fold this side so that we get a Z shape at the end. See, if we do it this way, you're just going to end up with something that looks like a straight line, and that's not what you want to end up with. So you want to end up with an S shape on this side. So fold it like this, and fold this like so. And then you should get a nice pointy edge with an S shape. So once you've done that, now take the other piece of paper, and now you want to create a Z shape. To do that, you will fold the paper like so. And then grab this side and fold the paper like so. Once you do that, you should have something that looks like this. Next, grab the tip and fold it towards the center. And then grab this tip and again fold it towards the center. Now, simply crease the sides and then let it go. You should end up with something that uh, points up like this. If this happens, don't worry, it's what's supposed to happen. Next, you want to do the same thing to this. Simply fold it to, towards the center, fold this towards the center, and let go, and it'll pop back up. Now, this is a little different from the single-sided uh, Ninja Star, so what you actually want to do is you want to keep it so that the slitted end stays upwards facing you, and then for the, the S star, the slitted end stays away from you so that only the um, smooth surface goes on top of each other. Once you've created this sort of X shape, you can flatten this, uh, the two pieces of paper like so, and then grab this tip and simply fold it in, lift this tip, and insert it in there like so. Let me show you that again. Grab this tip, fold it in, and leave it like so. Next, you're going to take this piece of paper and you're going to fold it. Now, it doesn't have anywhere to go, so what you want to do is you want to lift this so that you can insert it nicely and then just let it go in there and there you go. If you do it properly, you should have something that looks like this. Now simply turn it around. Now this part's going to be a little trickier because you have to sort of open these slots so that you can fit the uh, sides in. So just sort of open it with your fingers or use a pen or something like that and once you've opened it enough simply grab this and insert it into the slot then you should have another edge of the ninja star finished or the shuriken next you want to do what you want to do is you want to grab this end and insert it into this side and if done properly what you should end up with is this nice little ninja shuriken <clears throat> Thanks for watching guys. In my next video I'm going to show you how to create a double ninja shuriken. That's going to be double the size of this and it's going to be a lot heavier and uh, much easier to throw. So thanks for watching guys.